Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'll be showing you how to get the currently selected text on a web page using JavaScript. Now, this here is gonna be really straightforward. It's almost, if not just one line of code, but I'm also gonna be showing you in this video how to react to when your user jumps around and selects different parts of the page. So if, for example, your user uh, selects up here, then you want to react to when they start selecting down here instead, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that also. All right, so let's hop inside VS Code right here, and we're gonna be starting with this empty index HTML document. So not too much going on here, aside from just some text in the body, and of course, a empty JavaScript file. So how do we get the currently selected text within JavaScript? Okay, well, this is done using a method called window.getSelection. So I'm actually gonna go back inside the browser here and go inside the JavaScript console, all right? And I'm gonna highlight this first sentence here. And then once that's highlighted, I'm gonna go inside the console. Again, you guys can uh, press F12 if you're on Windows, I believe, or uh, just go into the dev tools right up here and, uh, under more tools than uh, developer tools. In the console, we can now say window.getSelection. We're gonna call this method here, and as we can see, we get back a selection object. Now, there is quite a bit going on on this selection object. I might make another uh, a second video covering this object alone, but um, if you only care about the actual text that has been selected, then it's gonna be really easy It's just say window.getSelection.toString, just like this, you press enter, and that gives you the string version of what you just selected on the page, okay? Now, the reason why I'm in the JavaScript console here is because I don't know when you'll need to uh, select the text. So as an example, maybe you have some sort of button on the page uh, that might activate uh, whenever the user selects uh, some text, but then again, they won't be able to select the text and then press the button. Um, there might be other, other sort of requirements and other things that your page is doing where you need to get that selected text. So I can't know what that is uh, for your particular circumstance, but what I can tell you is how to do this. So if you have an existing event listener or something like that, you simply use this code here and it gives you that selected text. All right, now what if you want to react to when the user uh, changes their text selection? Well, there is a really convenient event listener available for us to use called selection change. So this is now where I'm gonna go back inside VS Code here and we're gonna write some code inside the JavaScript file. So this event listener is called selection change and it runs on the document object. So we'll say here document.addEventListener. Again, selection change just like this and once we're inside here inside the event uh, handler we can now simply say console.log again uh, window.getSelection uh, dot to string just like this I'll save this go back in the browser here now I'm going to refresh I'm going to select W and we get W right here in the console okay I'm gonna go all the way down to welcome to this video. As you can see, you get an event fired for every single character that is selected. If your user was to double click on a word to highlight all of it, it skips that step where it does an incremental, you know, one by one character. Same goes, of course, if you were to try and triple click to get the whole sentence, same thing. So you get that initial highlight, then you get the main one. So keep that in mind. Don't expect the browser to know when your user is done selecting text, okay? You may want to do some sort of debounce uh, logic to say if the user has, hasn't selected text for more than a second, then count that as one selection, something along those lines. But uh, yeah, be, just be careful with performance um, and things like that when you are using this event. But if it's for simple tasks, you should be fine. But yeah, I think it's it's probably more likely that you'll be uh, only using the window.getSelection in certain circumstances, like I said before, on a button maybe, um, or on some sort of timer maybe, or 
uh, yeah, things like that. So um, I want to mention real quick that just in case you may have picked up, the selection change event listener is available on some browsers on an, uh, on the input fields. Now it is experimental technology based on MDN, so just keep that in mind that I'm using the one on the document which is well supported. Uh, the one on the input field is a different event and its support is a lot more limited compared to this one. Also worth mentioning that I believe if you change this to be document, uh, it's going to do the exact same thing. So I'll save this, go back in the browser, refresh, highlights, and it does the exact same thing. So you have the either window.getSelection or document.getSelection. I would stick to window.getSelection, but it's of course up to you guys. So that is how to get the currently selected text in JavaScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.